<laughs> okay, I am really, really excited this morning because I think that I just broke one of my bad habits. And I wanna tell you how I did it. So I have this awful habit of whenever I wake up in the morning and I make coffee, I come back to the couch and do whatever I'm gonna do and I put my coffee mug on the couch next to me. And it's such a bad habit and, and my previous roommates used to drive them absolutely crazy, but that never stopped me from doing it because I never spilt anything and until I did. And in fact, two days ago, I spilled half of my coffee cup all over the couch, including all of the uh, hazelnut creamer that was in it. And so the next day, did the same thing, put my coffee cup on the couch. The next day, which is today, I sat down on the couch and I went to go put the mug on the couch and I heard in my head, when am I gonna learn? And then I, forced my interior motor skills to alter, switch gears and alter my course and I put the coffee mug on the table and I pulled the coffee table closer to me. And then I heard in my head, once you replace the bad habit with a better one. And so I feel like I just broke the habit and I'm so excited about it. And then the way, the way that I did it was first I recognized what this bad habit was that I wanted to change. And then when that thing came up again, I performed a contrary action. And then I celebrated it and I'm really excited about it. And I think one thing that helped me to do so is that I told myself last night that I would not touch my phone until 10 a.m. So I turned it off and when I went to bed, I slept, I feel like I slept better. And when I woke up, checking my phone was not the first thing I did because it was 7 a.m. It was not 10 yet. So this morning, since touching my phone was not an option, I looked for other things to do. And I watered the plants. I took a shower. I fed my fish. I put the dishes away. I wrote in my journal. And then I read some of my book because I'm reading the Da Vinci Code right now. It's so good. And I felt extremely productive and very happy with myself and accomplished. And so that leads me to my next point is that I feel that our phones are providing a bigger distraction than we really realize they are because I will have a terrible habit of just checking my phone and just drinking the thing and checking it and then all of a sudden I've drank a whole cup pot of coffee because I was distracted on my phone. So for me, it really helped. <laughs> it really helped putting my phone away and just eliminating that option altogether, which is similar to my choice of not drinking anymore. In my head, I have eliminated the option to drink alcohol. It is no longer something on my list of things to possibly do. So therefore, if I'm bored or happy or sad or celebrating, there I am forced to consider alternative options because that drinking thing isn't even on the list anymore. I've shut the door to that. Similar to this morning where my phone was not an option until 10 o'clock, but honestly, I, I picked it up at 9 a.m. I was done. Two hours of reading and writing in your journal, I'm done. But um, it was a small step and I feel very proud of myself for doing that. And I mean, it's only been a couple hours, it's too early to tell, but I really feel like I just beat one of my own bad habits and created a newer, healthier one. And you bet I'm gonna repeat the process tomorrow. So, and, and, uh, and see how it goes. So I, I just felt I really needed to share that with you. And if it provides any kind of inspiration or motivation or encouragement to try something like that yourself in your life with any other little habits that you want to change um i feel like recognizing it and then when it comes about switching it out for some other habit um telling yourself that whatever that habit is is not an option and so you look for other things to fill it with trick yourself until you create a new habit to start doing that'll come naturally so It'll make you happier with yourself, because that's cool. Have a great day.